What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another Topic Tuesday. Today's topic is gonna be about raising prices. I'm gonna talk to you guys about when to raise your prices and how to go about it. First thing I wanna say guys is when it is time to raise your prices, it's something that we're all afraid of. When we're gonna do it, are we gonna lose all of our clients? We're gonna have trouble, we're gonna be sitting around and it's kind of scary to raise your prices. It's even been scary for me to do so every single time and I can tell you guys from experience, if you do it at the right time, you will not lose all your clientele. Honestly, I've only lost a couple people each time that I've done it, but there's a right time to do it and a wrong time to do it, and we're gonna go over that as well. The first thing I'll tell you is something my barber school teacher used to tell me, and that is that you should be busy 80% of the time. Guys, none of us wanna be busy 100% of the time, and that's when some of your favorite clients start to have trouble getting in. You're watching your people that do pay you better go to other barbers because you're too booked up while you're cutting Joe Schmo over here for the bare minimum. And of course, guys, it's not all about the money, but we do come to work to make money and I might as well be cutting the people that pay me the best. And that's kind of the difficulty here. So if I'm 100% booked up and I'm losing clients or watching them get in other chairs because they can never get in with me, then I need to do something different. So the general rule, guys, is if you're at 100%, you wanna raise your prices to cut about 20% of your clientele out. And that is gonna give you room for people that will pay the new price. So we're gonna cut back to 80%. We're gonna take new clients that are gonna pay the new price and then again and again and again as needed as you work your way up. So guys, I started at $14. When I came to Clutch, I started at 17. Soon after that, I went to 20, got full again at 20. Went to 25, got full again at 25. Went to 30, and again, guys, every time I'm losing a small percentage of clients, opening up those spots again, and the people that are booking have no problem paying that higher price. Now I'm at 40, and when I went to 40, I was scared to death that I was gonna lose a ton of clients, and guys, off the top of my head, I can think of about three clients that I lost in that process. So now instead of doing 15 or 16 heads a day at $20, I'm doing eight cuts a day at $40. Same amount of money, easier for me. I'm able to come and go as I need to, and guys, I'm only working three days, but I'm making what I was making in a week beforehand. Now another tip I can tell you when you know that you're able to raise your prices is what are your people paying you right now? Are you charging 20 and they're giving you 25? Are they giving you 30? That's gonna tell you kind of on average what you can charge. So guys, I was getting 40 bucks most of the time from my clients when I was charging 30, they would hand me two 20s and tell me to keep it. So it really told me that 40 was gonna be a decent number that most of my people were gonna be willing to pay. And some of those people that weren't doing that even paid 40 when I raised it to 40. Now, if you're charging 20 and all you get all day is $20, you're probably not in the spot where you need to go up. If you go up from 20 and nobody's tipping you on top of that, a lot of people probably think that your service is not worth it. And what can you do guys? Focus on the experience, focus on the haircut. Make sure that client feels like you're taking care of them and you'll start to see those tips increase. But if you're not getting tipped right now, something's wrong with your experience or you're drawing in the wrong clientele. So you can focus on that and that's a whole nother video that we would have to get into. Um, but definitely don't raise your prices if you are only getting the bare minimum for each of your cuts. Now when I decide I'm gonna raise my prices, here's how I go about it. I start to talk to my clients probably a month beforehand and say, hey, listen, next month I'm gonna go up to 40 bucks. You already give me 40 bucks, so don't feel like you need to pay on top of that. And guys, that's really how we should work, right? We shouldn't have to count on getting tips to make enough money. We should charge what it's worth and how much we need to get by. That way, if people don't tip, we're not hurting, right? So I let them know, hey, you already tipped me, you give me 40, that is plenty. I'm gonna raise it to 40. Basically that means there's other people that don't pay me 40 and that will encourage them or make them have to pay me that top dollar. So if you're already paying that, don't sweat it. When you see it go to 40, you're good at 40. And guys, most of the time, they're gonna start tipping on top of 40 anyways. Now on the other end of that, guys, if you have some clients that maybe are easier or some people you really don't wanna lose and maybe, you know, I got some older men that don't have that much hair, that don't come that often and 40 bucks, they're just not gonna pay it, right? So sometimes I will talk to certain clients that I know I will lose that I would rather keep at $30. And honestly, guys, it's okay to give them a $30 haircut. The stuff you guys see that's super detailed, skin fade, color enhancement, designs, that's a $40 haircut when I do it. If you get a simple haircut, you guys saw a long time ago, I did a senior citizen haircut, basically a four or five on the sides, trim the top, line it up all the way around, no taper. Guys, I still keep him as a client and I charge him the $30 I used to charge him. You guys obviously have the freedom to do it how you want, but I will say, if you change your price and then you end up letting everybody pay you the old price, then that defeats the purpose. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I know it's a tough topic to raise prices, but guys, everybody else gets a raise. And for some reason, the past 20 years, haircut prices have not gone up. And we're the only shop in town that charges like we do. Most of the other shops here charge 15 bucks for a haircut. I think there's a couple that charge 20, 
But my shop price is 20. Most of my guys are at 25 or 30. And guys, like I said, I charge 40. So it can be done. You just have to make sure that the service and the experience matches the price that you're charging. And also if you're super booked up, supply and demand guys, basic laws. So anyway, if you guys liked this video and it was helpful, smash that thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment and let me know what you charge for a haircut currently. And if you're thinking about raising your price, Make sure you guys subscribe. I got a dope tutorial dropping tomorrow. So turn on that bell so you guys know as soon as it drops. I appreciate you guys stopping in for another Topic Tuesday and I'll see you guys tomorrow.